1939, the British people were on the brink of a major European conflict for the second time in living memory. It was the job of the monarch, King George VI, to deliver his first radio address to his subjects, calling them to a high purpose in the face of adversity. King George felt its deep significance, but this pressure was compounded for him by the fact that he had stuttered since he was a child. The king worked extensively with his Australian speech therapist, Lionel Logue, using a technique called phrasing. Our declaimer this evening, Senior Asher Alexander, chose this piece in part for its historical significance and in part because he stutters himself just as the king did. He will be employing the same technique that King George used in his radio broadcast in order to breathe new life into these powerful words tonight. Please welcome Asher. This grave hour, perhaps the most fateful in our history, I send to every household of my people, both at home and overseas, this message. Spoken with the same depth of feeling for each one of you as if I were able to cross your threshold and speak to you myself. For the second time in the lives of most of us, we are at war. Over and over again, we have tried to find the peaceful way out of the differences between ourselves and those who are now our enemy. But this has been in vain. We have been forced into a conflict. For we are called with our allies to meet the challenge of a principle which, if it were to prevail, would be fatal to any civilized order in the world. It is the principle which from its estate, in the selfish pursuit of power, to disregard its treaties and its solemn pledges, which sanctions the use of force or threat of force against the sovereignty and independence of other states. It is to this high purpose that I now call my people at home and my peoples across the sea who will make our cause their own. I ask them to stand calm and firm and united in this time of trial. The task will be hard. There may be dark days ahead, and war can no longer be confined to the battlefield. But we can only do the right as we see the right and reverently commit our cause to God. If one and all we keep resolutely faithful to it, ready for whatever service or sacrifice it may demand, then, with God's help, we shall prevail. May he bless and keep us all. <laughs> 